why study human diversity? This is, after all, why you are here, and it's why I do the work that I do. Take some time to think about your own answer to this question and share it. I also have a set of my own answers to this question, which I'm gonna share with you now. First of all, there are more ways of being human than we expect, than we're first aware of, than we know in our own life and in our own society. And one of the first lessons of anthropological investigation, indeed of travel, of seeing more of the world, is to realize the many ways that people differ that cultures have different perspectives, uh, that people are living different kinds of lives. Our culture often teaches that there's a grand convergence towards a singular way of living and a singular way of being in the world. But what we see over time is that in fact, there are many, many extant ways of seeing the world, ways of speaking about the world and ways of understanding it. And that people are in fact creating new ways as we all inhabit this planet together. Second, no matter where we are, we may not be aware of the uh, vast diversity of human experiences that are happening at the same time. So I present this map. We see more than half of human beings living within what is a fairly small circle within East, South, and Southeast Asia, that more people live within that circle than live outside of it. If you, like me, live outside of that circle, you may not have a daily encounter with um, what happens to be more than half of humanity. Conversely, if you live inside that circle, there's vast differences in the spaces that um, are going on beyond it. So I want to give you a sense of you know, the breadth um, of human experience. One, uh, one way that we often think about the limits of human perception and the ways that we interact with the world is through uh, a, a closed language community, right? A set of people who share the same vocabulary, literally, uh, and, and certain ways of thinking about the world, dividing it up, and so on. And there's a tremendous linguistic diversity on this planet, nearly 7,000 languages. Um, and much of that diversity is actually quite concentrated. So if you look at these uh, four areas in, in read here, that constitutes more than half of all known spoken languages. Uh, and so if one thinks about language as a particular kind of knowledge resource that people have, that tremendous diversity is uh, highly concentrated, but also there's just so much difference to be aware of uh, all around this planet. It's also highly significant for us to think through how human actions have a tremendous impact on our planet. So being aware of the kinds of choices that people can make and the ways that they can inhabit the earth is extremely important, not just for understanding other people, but for understanding uh, our choices and how those choices influence um, the future of the planet that we live on and depend on. It's important to study human diversity because the very process of being human and being embedded in a set of meanings is to provide ourselves with a sense of normalcy of what is unchosen, what um, is just taken as a given. Um, and so literally any part of the human experience can seem from the inside as normal and perhaps universal, just the way that human beings are. And what we see, there's also simply no substitute for direct extended encounter with someone who is different from you as a way of understanding both yourself and them. And um, while it, that is true, it is also the case that anthropological work by other people is kind of the closest thing that we have to having that direct approach to people that we can't find a way to be in the same room with us. And lastly, we study human diversity to understand how our own lives are connected to the lives of others, to see the many ways that flows of, of culture, of ideas, of goods, of labor, of direct and indirect connection and uh, of creati creativity from one place to another uh, unite us and place us in specific and power-laden power relationships um, with others. 
So overall, my argument in this course, which I will begin today and I'll make throughout the semester, is that an anthropological perspective is essential to understanding the world of over 7 billion human beings that you will spend the rest of your lives in.